While the logger resistors, this tutorial will be how to build a temperature sensor such as LM35 or a thermistor with an Arduino. But remember that we do have a social web garagelab.com where you can change ideas and follow news with another electronic holidays. And we have a web store where you will find all the products that we are using in our tutorials. It will be good if you visit us on our YouTube channel as well. Well, in this tutorial, we are going to show you guys uh, how to make an Arduino program to read temperature sensors such as LM35 and the thermistor. And uh, the output pin provides an analog output that is nearly proportional to the Celsius centigrade temperature. Pin 2 gives an output of 1 mV per 0.1 Celsius degree, 10 mV per degree. So, to get the degree value in Celsius, all that it must be done is to take the voltage output and divide it by 10. Uh, this gives out the value of degrees in Celsius. So, for example, if the output pin, pin 2 gives out a value of 315 mV, this is equivalent to a temperature of 31.5 degrees Celsius. Well, uh, let's do the, the first layout. Layout, we can then easily convert this Celsius value into Fahrenheit by plugging in the appropriate conversion equation. I will must write this code and upload it to the algorithm to convert this Celsius temperature to Fahrenheit. So I am uploading now the program, and um, after that, we are going to, to, to open the serial monitor over here and then you will notice that we are having like the temperature in degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit and also if we approximate this so the ring arrow for the temperature sensor the temperature will start to grow up quite faster See how to build a thermistor temperature sensor circuit. To read the temperature, we use a thermistor. This is a special type of resistance which changes its value due to the temperature where your components place it. There are two types of thermistors, NTC and PTC, which is a positive and negative temperature coefficient. Uh, the PTC is a type of thermistor that has a positive temperature coefficient and the resistance increases with increasing the temperature and the negative uh, the resistance decreases with increasing the temperature. The nominal thermistor is usually given at 25 degrees Celsius and in this case we will use a thermistor 10,000 ohms. It operates in the range of minus 40 degrees to plus 125. To determine the temperature, there are two methods, one by using the interpolation formula or a standard hard equation can still use the Bexar factor. The method of standard hard is implemented by a library. We, we made some modifications to maintain compatibility of the same with the Arduino IDE. The library can be downloaded in our social web uh, and so let's build the secrets. Well, um, this is the secret we have done to extend hard hard, which the program will share to you tonight, right now, now, right now. And you will start to realize how easy it is dealing with the thermistor library. First of all, we include the thermistor library here. Then we set the temp variable and do the setup section. 
there is a serial declaration with the command just signed from the value for the sensor temperature. Then we do a serial monitor printout and uh, delay. And uh, you'll notice in the serial motor, monitor the reading, the temperature readings, and if you put the, the soldering iron closer to our sensor, you'll see the temperature growing up. Okay? And um, now we, are we will do a second way of reading a temperature. And to start, let's do the second layout, okay? So, um, basically now we have changed since the first one, we use this average spin out now and well, we are going to do is transform this vector fraction equation into the thermistor P, into the Arduino program and well, we need to set all these values, first of all, the thermistor P analog value, uh, 10,000 which we the, the value of the temperature, a temperature value which will be, be 25 degrees, uh, the number of samples we want to take out, a coefficient that you can you, you can take this value from the thermistor menu, so a raster value as well. This is some uh, variable declarations. Then after the setup section, we have these lines here which will, first of all, this force, which will catch all the samples we will want to take and this light here will calculate the temperature value and then this, this, this print up here uh, before delay, a quick delay ok, I will do a quick simulation now um, as you can see, when we put the soldering iron close to our sensor, the temperature will start to grow up. 28 degrees, 29, 30 degrees and beyond. Okay, I think this is everything I have done so far. I hope this tutorial has been useful. Leave your comments in our social web and see you next time. Thank you very much.